Hi, welcome back. Today I'm going to do something that you don't have to. I'm going to take a cassette apart. You can see what's inside it and I'll point you in the direction of what needs doing if you've got a problem with them and you can just see it just for a point of interest. What we've got here is two old tapes, 46 years old approximately and there is slight problems with them which we'll have a look at. Now you see the tape's very good. It's a nice brown one on that one and on the other one it's a bit darker brown and uh, you know, there's not a lot wrong except for the fact that I've had the problem with the felts. But let's have a look inside the cassette because this isn't about the felts as such. Let's have a look inside. So you've got to take out the five screws on this one and then you've got to just pull it apart. Nice and simple. It's easier with two hands. And you've got so having taken it apart, be very careful because there are loose bits in there. Well, they're loose once you turn the lid off, put it that way. And there's a, a couple of rollers, one at each end and some other little bits, and there's only one slip sheet. There should be two in there. Now, I wasn't totally sure when I had a look at it, so I decided to open another one, exactly the same, and you'll see what the results are here. Quite simply, this is the other tape I've got. Both bought at the same time in 1980, no, 1970-something. Anyway, that's the cassettes. Now, in order to be able to fix them you need to be able to sort out the felts so you just buy some felts from eBay and this these are nice and simple they actually are self adhesive so if you take that plate out and then you can just apply it nice and simple and hey presto you've got yourself another working tape but you might have a problem there is a problem sometimes with the tapes that they dry out the slip sheets dry out because there is normally a lubricant on them now this is a good time if you want to to take the slip sheets away and actually apply some silicon lubricant dry lube not grease nothing sticky but a can of dry lube will do wonders and if you haven't got any of that mr sheen or some other polish will actually have the same sort of effect what you want to do is reduce the friction on the tape coming off out of the cassette as it slides because as you can see it's got a lot of surface area there which is going to be sliding against the case. So having done that you can then quite happily put the tape back together again and that's it. You're sorted and now you've seen what's in there. There's not a lot to see really but some tapes, some cassettes are not screwed, some of them are welded and then you've got a different problem but that's not within the realms of this video. Anyway, hope that meant something to you. Please subscribe and like and do the thing on the social media and catch you another time. Any questions, put them in the comments below. Cheers.